T tomorrow will not be easy. Subway service cut way back. The green line running only between Kenmore and Leachmere stations. The red line will go from Alewife in Cambridge to Andrew Square in South Boston. And the orange line will run only from North Station to Back Bay. The commuter rail plans to run on a Saturday schedule. Five investigates tonight getting exclusive access to see what the T is doing to try and get back to normal. And Karen Anderson is live along the tracks near North Station tonight. Karen? And Ed, this is one of the most important places on the entire commuter rail. We're here by North Station, and you can see the crews with Keolis are out here tonight working on the lines, trying to get the system back on track in this bitter cold. Fighting the elements, Keolis crews are chipping away at the crucial equipment on the commuter rail line by North Station, encrusted in ice and snow again. While snow trains plow through the commuter rail tracks, these workers use basic tools, shovels, and brooms, helped out by handheld torches with propane tanks and gas lines, to clear the switches, which guide the trains here out of North Station. Clearing, clearing, clearing. This is a key work tonight. Pascal Buran is Keolis's chief engineering officer. With uh, all the wind, all the snow we had, and now the cold, the, the, the switches are just buried under snow. Also covered with snow, the MBTA's third rail and tracks between JFK and Braintree stations. A red line train broke down on these tracks during last Monday's storm and sat there stuck for days. Tomorrow morning, the T is hiring hundreds of outside workers to help manually dig the Braintree line out. Another battle for the T, the light snow that shuts down traction motors. The commuter rail doesn't have to worry about that with its locomotives, but it does have ice-covered trains and lots of work ahead for service tomorrow. Several hundred men outside working hours and hours and hours to make sure that they can ride the train and go to work, go to school, go to the hospital, wherever they need to go. And back live here, these Keolis crews will be out here all night, and you can see right next to them the lines, the propane, the gas lines, working to keep the tracks and the switches clear. But again, you can see this wind. The big challenge tonight is the blowing snow getting right back on the tracks. They'll be out here all night to try to keep it clear. For Five Investigates, I'm Karen Anderson.